Mavis. Mavis is a diesel engine belonging to the Farquhar Quarry Company. They brought her to show trucks in their sidings. She is black and has six wheels. These, like Toby's, are hidden by side plates. Mavis is young and full of her own ideas. She is sure that they are better than anyone else's. She loves rearranging things and put Toby's trucks in different places. Every day. This made Toby cross. Trucks, he grumbled, should be where you want them, when you want them. Fudge, said Mavis, and flounced away. At last, Toby lost patience. I can't waste time playing hunt the trucks with you, he snapped. Take them yourself. Mavis was delighted. Taking trucks made her feel important. At Farquhar, she met Daisy. Toby's an old fusspot, she complained. Daisy liked Toby, but was glad of a diesel to talk to. Steam engines, she said, have their uses, but they don't understand. Toby says only steam engines can manage trucks properly. What rubbish, put in Daisy, who knew nothing about trucks. Depend upon it, my dear. Anything steam engines can do, we diesels can do better. Toby's line crosses the main road behind Farquhar Station, and for a short way follows a farm lane. The rails here are buried in earth and ashes almost to their tops. In wet weather, animals, carts and tractors make the lane muddy and slippery. Frost makes the mud rock hard. It swells too, preventing an engine's wheels from gripping the rails properly. Toby found this place troublesome, so when Frost came, he warned Mavis and told her just what to do. I can manage, thank you, she said cheekily. I'm not an old fusspot like you. The trucks were tired of being pushed around by Mavis. It's slippery, they whispered. Let's push her around instead. On, 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 they yelled as Mavis reached the stop board. But Mavis had heard about Percy and took no chances. She brought them carefully down the lane and stopped at the level crossing. There, her second man halted the traffic while the guard unpinned the wagon brakes. One well, in the headlamp for Fusspot Toby, she chortled. She looked forward to having a good giggle about it with Daisy, but she never got her giggle. She was so sure she was right that she stopped in the wrong place. In frosty weather, Toby stops before reaching the lane, and while some of his trucks are still on the slope, this ensures that they can't hold him back, and their weight helps him forward till his wheels can grip again. But Mavis had given the trucks the chance they wanted, Hold back, hold back, they giggled. Grrr, up, ordered Mavis. The trucks just laughed and her wheel spun helplessly. She tried backing, but the same thing happened. They sanded the rails and tried to dig away the frozen mud, but only broke the spade. Cars and lorries tooted impatiently. Grrr, ah, wailed Mavis in a helpless flurry. I wonder, fumed Toby, I told her where to stop. I can manage, she said, and caught me an old fuss pot. She's young yet, soothed her driver, and she can manage her trucks herself. They're your trucks, really, his driver pointed out. Mavis isn't supposed to come down here. If the fat controller, you wouldn't tell, would you? Of course not. Well then, but, his driver went on. If we don't help clear the line, he'll soon know all about it. So shall we? Hmm, yes, said Toby thoughtfully. An angry farmer was telling Mavis just what she could do with her train. Toby buffered up. I'm in trouble, Mavis. I am surprised. Groosh, said Mavis. With much puffing and wheel slip, Toby pushed the trucks back. Mavis hardly helped at all. The hard work made Toby's fire burn fiercely. He then reversed, stopping at intervals, while his firemen spread hot cinders to melt the frozen mud. Goodbye, he called as he reached the crossing. You'll manage now, I expect. Mavis didn't answer. She just took the trucks to the shed and scuttled home as quickly as she could.